Okay guys, so once the install is all done, we want to explain to you why it's important to create a secure network, not just for security purposes uh, for the homeowner so that no one else gets into their network um, or can mess with their fixtures, but also because it's going to strengthen the signal of the Bluetooth connection between each fixture. Now, what we've done here is we've taken half of the yard that's on one transformer and turned all of those Bluetooth fixtures off. The other half of the yard, which you're going to see here, we've turned all those fixtures on. So when we go to create that secure network, the only fixtures that are going to become available to put the, the Bluetooth fixtures into the secure network are the, the ones that are on the transformer that's powered on. This helps us out with creating less traffic and simplifies things so that we can just focus on one half of the yard first. Okay, so I'm recording on my phone how to create a secure network. So I'll fire up the BT app and you can start off in the Alliance network. That's where all the fixtures will be when you start out. So to create the secure network, you'll go to the menu, you'll click on current home and you want to ask the homeowner what they would prefer their secure network to be called. Uh, most of the time it's the last name. So here the residence is the Hammond residence. So we'll add new home and we will create the network named Hammond. Now on this next screen is where we add devices. For this part you want to walk near the devices that you want to add to make sure that they're getting into the network. And Renee's showing you that the lights are flashing as they're being added. And if you know how many fixtures you're trying to add, then you can see on your screen that you have that many fixtures that have added to the network. So here we have four. So let's stop there. And then to check our work, we'll go back. And now we're in the Hammond network. And now we see what we've added. And we'll turn all the colors to, we'll turn all the fixtures to red. And now Renee can run around and see, can confirm that they have all turned red. All red? No. Not red? Okay, so we have one fixture left that's not red. So now that we know which one that is, we go back to the secure network Hammond and we'll click add. And since we know which one that is, we'll get closer to it. We'll click add device. And there it is. So now that we've got that one, we'll go back and check again. So we're in the Hammond network and we're gonna change all the colors to blue this time. And so then we'll confirm that they are all blue. All good? All good. All right, so now we've created the network for this transformer. So next we'll move on to the next transformer and put them in the same network. So before we do that, we'll, we'll turn this transformer off so that we're working one transformer at a time. Okay, so now we're working off the next transformer where we have quite a few more fixtures. Uh, so here on the screen we see that there's 25 and so right here we're in the Alliance network. So since we've already created the Hammond network, we can go back to our secure network list and we'll click on Hammond and we'll swipe left and we'll click add and we'll do the same process again. So we'll click add device. As we're adding, they actually start flashing and you'll see that the icons change to represent what the actual fixture is. And so this process, it always helps to have help. So one person can be checking one side of the yard and another person could be checking the other side. That's, that's always helpful. The other thing is you could do this at night so you could see everything flashing. Um, but backup is definitely uh, helpful. You could do this yourself, but it would be a lot harder. And it's just better to have that help. So we're just gonna keep walking around till we see our number 
reach what we had what we were at before which was 25 so you can see them popping up and adding we just keep walking around and if we get to a point where it looks like it's not looking anymore or it's not finding anything then we could stop add and we'll do our color test again so we're in the Hammond network we're going to click all devices we're going to change them all to green and now we'll walk around and see what's green and what's not Not green. green. Not. Okay, so it looks like we missed a few in this area right here. So we'll go back to our network list. We'll swipe left. We'll hit add and we'll stand right here. We'll click Add Device, and we should see it start flashing soon. So we just added one. Now that one's flashing. So this one. We've added the two that we knew didn't change. So we'll stop Add. Oh, we got another one. So we'll keep going. It looks like it's still still looking for some. So let's stop there because it looks like it's stopped and then we'll do the color test again. So we won't pick green because we did that last time so let's go back to red. So we'll check to see that everything's red. This one is still. So this one's still not picking up, so we'll know we have to grab that one. How's everything else looking? Good. Okay. So we have one guy that's giving us a little trouble. So we'll just do this process again and I'll get right next to it. So it's not finding it. So this is actually perfect because now we can confirm that we are at least finding it in the default network. So we'll go back to the default network and we'll search. And nothing's coming up here. So this guy might be in the secure network and it just didn't change color when we told it to. So we'll check again. We'll switch to the Hammond network. We'll search. Search is completed. We'll click all devices. We'll hit control. And this time we'll go back. We'll go to purple. And it changed purple. So it wasn't a network. It just didn't change color that, that time that we asked it to. So it looks like we're all in the secure network now. And we can move on to sharing the network.